But man, really, the the I think the main thing when you watch watch the Broncos is it just boils down to Russell Wilson, man. You you traded all this to get Russell, yeah, and he comes out there and he has the one drive where he does Russell things, and you know runs around a little bit, makes a throw on the run after you know moving out of the pocket, and it just seems like I don't know he's just off on, on just they're not in sync with a lot of things going on, yeah, and. You know, nine points again this week. He's he's down below Baker Mayfield, I think, in points yeah. per game. I have a league where I have a one QB league where it's a huge bench, and I have I have Wilson and Goff, and I started Goff this week. Mm. Yeah, mm. Um, and it worked great out. Great move. It worked so out. Twenty great thirty-three move. for for Russell, one hundred eighty-four yards, six for six rushes, seventeen yards, got sacked four times. You know, it it should be. Is there is this a is this a buy low window for Russell Wilson? I want to say last week I was gonna be like fuck yeah. This week I'm like I, I don't know. I want to say hey, I'll give you after I'll, all the shit that everyone's been talking about him and is that getting in his head and the coaches and like has the yips and like I'll they just you, it was a bad team to play. I'll give you the month get of, right. of September to figure the shit out. Here. Brand new offense, brand new team. It's fair. Can he is yeah. he even a chef? You know. No. Is he cooked? Well, we talked about it week one or two. Like, he's some he's, point he's gotta, cooking. A, he's cooking the microwave right now. Yeah, you got to question the credentials of the chef. He's, he needs yeah. to go back to the salad station. Sure, yeah. You know, put work him, his way back up, up. Put him on the prep line. Make some more yeah. omelets, like in the Sims. You read the cooking book. You know, get get your <laughs> knowledge up to get that. So would you start making the carbonara? Would you trade? Is this a buy low opportunity? Or are you just kind of like ah, I don't know? Because it seems like it should like it should you be like take a chance, right? That's should how be you like hell big. yeah, hell yeah. It's a trade. It's a trade. It's a buy low. But I mean, can you stomach it? Because everyone hates him, and it's basically I mean, he's a pretty hateable guy. It's I mean, it's basically fact now that he's a big fat phony. He is very. He's a fucking cornball. That's right. Yeah. He's absolutely a cornball and fake and phony and, and all and the above. And egotistical and just need, you know. But he's... For, for Doug Baldwin to come out and talk some shit and, and, yeah. and Richard, Richard Sherman, I guess it doesn't really surprise me, but like still, you'd think they'd be boys. And like he's got the he's got the captain thing. Did they just have like, listen guys, we yeah, have to make Russell pretty. captain or he's going to fucking quit. Is that part of this contract, you know? Like how bad is it over there with Russell? I don't. I don't know that there's any. It can't be too bad. It just started. Yeah. Like just he just yeah. doesn't look like he's. He doesn't seem comfortable. Doesn't, yeah. Throwing terrible balls too. Like oh, there was a, some terrible incomplete incompletions. Yeah. Last like night. he bounced. I saw. I remember he like bounced one in there on like third Multiple. down. I'm like to Quaybanon. I'm like, what was that throw? Strong pronunciation of that guy's name. Very strong. Yeah. No. I don't. I, I don't know what's going on. We have him in. I think one of the Patreon leagues. Mm-hmm. Um, we got a pretty strong team there, and it's it's not it's not that fun right now. Mm-mm. It's yeah. It's, if he plays well, we're we're going to be a tough team to beat. But right now, we're we had him and Carson Wentz going. He and keeps they got us hanging in each game. Oh. Sixteen oh. points out of our quarterbacks and super flex. Yikes. I can't even be mad at Carson because I was I, we're, we're, we were already angling to replace Carson, trying to find that replacement. But he was great week one and two. Yeah. Wilson hadn't been good at all. Like at least yeah. I've seen fucking Eagles are just a juggernaut. Yeah, the Eagles do look pretty strong. But I mean, look, the De- you know Denver played. Even against Houston, you know there wasn't there yeah. wasn't any juice with Russell Wilson. Against it seems Seattle. like you get a drive or two. Yeah. Seattle, I can understand, and the Niners a little bit. They're familiar. You know, it's a good defense. It just has it been a bad run for opponents for Russell outside of Houston, and just hasn't settled in. I want to say that you should buy low. Yeah, I'm probably buying low too. I think he's. I think. I think we've seen enough from Russell over the last couple of years to be like, okay, he's just. Something's not right here. Let's get all let's get all the wide receivers back healthy. Let's get maybe we'll see what Dolchich has to do at, at tight end. Like we, get, we bring him up every week, but I mean, let's get the coach getting no production from tight end. Let's get the coach just re you know, integrated and and figure out what's kind of going on, settled into maybe yeah. and and you know listening to uh, Dilfer last week on Rosillo, basically Dilfer was saying how you know. He's got a lot of friends in the league and a lot of friends. in. The, it's not just that this was an, uh, trying to get Aaron Rodgers to come to the Broncos. There's a lot of people in the league who hold uh, Hackett's offensive mind to a pretty high standard. You know, just hasn't been in this position before. So maybe he needs a minute to figure it out. Or maybe he's coordinator face and is, is you know, not meant to be to have all this going on. And yeah. maybe he needs to hand 
some things off, which it looked like maybe after, maybe this week he kind of realized that maybe he needed a hand to him, hired a special assistant or whatever. Maybe you they see did. a little bit more of that. You'd be know, wondering I, I how, you, wondering how interest, I'll be interested to see how long Hackett's leash is with a new ownership, an ownership group coming in. Yeah. That they didn't hire him. Right. That's true. But he was probably a package with like Russell. Like Russell was only coming there because of. I don't think so. I don't think so. Russell just wanted out of Seattle. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah. Russell wanted out of Seattle in 2018. And they wanted him out. I mean, I feel like I feel like they'd done the song and dance long enough with him that it was just time to mutually part ways. Yeah. So is there is there any any is, this might be a little bit of a buy low in Javante Williams window here. Have you are you interested in trying? Would you trade a twenty three first for Javante Williams? Yeah. Yeah, I think I would. Because of the ties to Russell and then what could be moving. He's forward? a good player. I don't. Right. He's you just don't. a good player. Yeah. Yeah, I just it feels like the fucking Broncos are the same Broncos. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah, Two and that's what faces. that's what scares me about everything. There, much different quarterback, but same result. Yeah, it just it seems like the offense should be way better, and it's just it's just not. Okay, I agree. I think it's I think you could buy low on on a lot of part. You can't buy low on the receivers. It doesn't seem, but maybe no. maybe the running backs and and Russell you could Javon, buy a little low. Javante for a of twenty three first would be a huge discount right now. On Javante, because there's no chance you could even touch him with that. What would you pay for Russell? A 23 first in Superflex? I don't know. That doesn't feel great. It doesn't feel great, exactly. It doesn't feel great. But I think that's what you'd have to pay to get, to get, to, to get him. Would you trade, Russell? We're, we're going to have to break that team down at some point. Would you trade Russell for a 23 first? Seems like you're not getting enough. Well, I mean, I would it's like a bad a, time I'd to trade need a Russell. If I could get maybe if I could get Jared Goff and oh, <laughs> and Russell and a first, maybe Geno Smith, uh, Jameis, Jameis and a first. Uh-uh. No thanks. I'm yeah, just saying need you need Russell. a bridge. Right. You just you need, need a, a bridge. bridge, right? That's why I'm fine with that. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, it's, it's a t- I know I don't really want to trade him away and, for a first. Zach Wilson and a first for for God bless. Russ. Mm-mm. I don't think so. Uh, Mac Jones in the first. That's. I mean, that Zach, sounds better. Zach Not right or, now. Zach I need or a quarterback. Mac at least still have p- potential. A little yeah. bit of luster still around yeah. them that you could maybe then move them for a little bit of something else. I don't think I'm. I think I'm just hanging on to Russell if I have him. Yeah. And yeah. I'm just gonna buy low. Unless I. Yeah. Unless you get like a first plus. Yeah. You know. Right. If I can get a first and a bridge QB. I'm probably taking that deal. <laughs>